basics. And I want to start off with, first of all, just talking about your own time. Like, what else do you really have to do with your time? And if you, if you could think about things in a grand scheme, in a grand scale, we only have so many days, so many hours, so many years to live on this earth before we die, before our, our, our physical body is going to pass away and we go into eternity. We have eternal life. But there's only so much that we can fill our time with here. And it's easy to get distracted with all the cares of this world. But I want you to seriously think about how important are the things that you do. Can you take even one day out of that schedule and out of that life just to give back, just to say thanks, just to show God, hey, God, I'm going to do something for you today. I'm going to do something for someone other than myself. I'm going to help people in a way that you cannot do. You cannot help someone any better than pointing them to eternal life. You could lose everything in this whole world, but if your soul is saved, then praise God. I want you all to think about a time before you were saved. Before you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. What, however old you were, it doesn't matter. Think about a time before you were saved. Think about a moment in your life before you ever even heard the gospel. What if you would have died? Didn't even hear the gospel. Well, we know what if. There's no what if. What if you would have gone to hell? Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no, oh, well, it wasn't that bad. That's what I used to think. Oh, I'm really not that bad. I'm not going to go to hell. Well, you know what? I wasn't trusting in Jesus, so yeah, I would have. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. The Bible says, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. We need the name of Jesus Christ. We need to preach the name of Jesus Christ. In order for you to be saved, you need to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And what a shame it would be if people weren't out there preaching the word. Like I said, I know I'm thankful for the people that have been involved in my life. And I don't even know who all of them were. I didn't have a soul winner knock on my door and give me a nice presentation of the gospel. That would have been great. But I know for a fact I heard along the way because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There's no way I could have, I could have gotten saved otherwise. I thank God that he wants us to be saved and doesn't just leave us without a light even though we're sinners against him. The Bible says that God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You're in 1 Corinthians chapter number 3. I thank God that he's given us ministers. Ministers in order for us to believe. And this is where we're going to start showing you that God has given us this work to do. Just as you have had people appointed unto you to preach the gospel to you, God wants to use you as a minister to be appointed for someone else to get saved. 